you were to ask a hundred different people what they're looking for in a church, they'd probably give you a hundred different answers. A life-changing word, an anointed music ministry, a place of genuine love, care, and support, a multiplicity of programs and outreaches that extend beyond the walls of the church. Most people would look for a church with a strong foundation, yet is open and receptive to 21st century ministry applications and methodologies. That's our vision and our mission here at Greater Grace Temple, the City of David. I'm Bishop Charles H. Ellis III, Senior Pastor, and Amazing Grace starts right now. I came to worship the Lord because when you worship the Lord, things begin to happen. When you worship the Lord, things begin to change. When you worship the Lord, things begin to come in focus. How many of y'all know the more you worship, the higher he takes you? The more you worship, the more you can hear him. Is there anybody in here that's got a worshiping spirit? Is there anybody in here that's got a worshiping praise? I wish I had somebody right now that would just put your hands together and give God a clap offering. What are you clapping for? Because the Lord's been good. What are you clapping for? Because the Lord's been kind. What are you clapping for? Because the Lord has put a praise in my heart. Do I have two witnesses in here? The Bible said that when the wives meet, they arrive at the house. We don't know how old Jesus is. By, by Herod's mathematics, he had to be at least around two years old or younger. Because when Herod found out that he had been duped by the wise men, he sent his soldiers into Bethlehem uh, and into Israel uh, to kill every young male child uh, from the age of two years and under. Uh, so right now the wise men arrive uh, as the star rests upon the house. Uh, he's no longer a babe in a manger. Uh, he's no longer wrapped in swaddling clothes, uh, laying in a feeding trough. Uh, but right about now uh, he is a young child uh, and he's in the house with his mother shut and the Bible says shut that the wise men come shut and they enter into the house shut to worship the Lord shut but watch this shut they don't come in empty handed shut they bring gifts shut to worship the Lord shut they come in the house shut and they have gifts of gold shut and frankincense shut and myrrh shut that's why when we come to the Lord's house shut it's one thing to worship God Shut. It's another thing to praise God. Shut. But he tells us to bring all the time Shut. into the storehouse. Shut. You've got to give God something tangible. Shut. If you ain't got nothing, Shut. then there is no time. Shut. But if you got a dime, Shut. you owe God a dollar. Shut. A penny rather. Shut. If you got ten cents, Shut. you owe God a penny. Shut. If you got a dollar, Shut. you owe God a dime. Shut. If you got a hundred dollars, Shut. you owe God a Teen, shut, and you unapologetically shut. You bring your worship shut, and you bring your time shut, and you bring your offering shut. Because while it is natural shut, and while it is of the carnality shut, it is spiritual shut. When you give it to the Lord shut, and when you give it to Him shut, He's going to open up windows shut. He's going to pour you out blessings shut that you won't have room enough to receive shut. Am I talking to some witnesses in here? Shut. Is there anybody in here shut, that been giving your time shut, and found out that God is a provider, shut, that God is a sustainer, shut, that God is a way maker? Shut. Is there anybody shut, that ain't got everything you want, shut, but God has supplied shut, every one of your needs? Shut. Can you testify? Shut. Can you get up and tell somebody shut, that I tried him shut, and he ain't never lied? Shut. I tried him shut. And he makes a way every time. Shut. So it is shut that they brought gifts shut to Jesus. Shut. Brought gold shut. Brought frankincense shut. Brought myrrh shut. And the Bible says shut. They begin to worship him shut in the house shut. And when you worship the Lord shut, you'll hear him clearer shut. When you worship the Lord shut, he'll speak to 
you and just like he does he spoke to the wise men and the spirit told them of the plans of Herod he ain't coming to worship Jesus he's coming to kill and to destroy so the wise men the spirit told them you came here one way but you better go a different way and the Bible declares that they went back to their own country but they didn't go back through Jerusalem they went around and took a detour and God told me to tell you that when you worship him he'll let you walk around some landmines when you worship him he'll let you know when people don't mean you no good when you worship him he'll help you to avoid some pitfalls do I have any worshipers in here I dare somebody to shake a neighbor's hand and tell them neighbor don't know about it you but the reason that I got up this morning and pressed my way through the snow is because I was feeling bad but I thank God that through my worship I feel a little better I came in one way but I'm going home a different way I came in here depressed but I'm leaving encouraged I came in here down but I'm leaving up I came in here broke I came in here busted I came in here disgusted but I'm leaving here with my head held high I'm walking like I already got it I'm expecting that when I get home my worship in the church is going to change things in my house my praise in the church is going to change things on my job my praise in the church going to change things in my marriage is there anybody that know when you praise him he'll work on your behalf when you worship him he'll give you the good deeds is there anybody that don't mind praising him is there anybody don't mind worshiping as a matter of fact why in the world would you get up on this snowy day and not give God a praise since I'm here I might as well get my praise work I might as well get my worship work I might as well get my tithe work I might as well get my offering work if you're here why not praise him if you're here why not thank him if you're here why not bless him if you're here why not clap your hands if you're here why not wave your hands if you're here why not shout with the voice of triumph glory Thank you for watching this excerpt from the Amazing Grace broadcast. If you would like to get the full-length message or for broadcast times, visit us at greatergrace.org or call us at 866-99-GRACE. God bless and have a graceful day.